Overnight, fire and horror in Rafah. An Israeli airstrike at a camp for displaced civilians setting tents and cars aflame. Fire crews in Hamas-run Gaza say at least 40 people were killed, many of them women and children. One of the deadliest bombings in Rafah of the entire war. The Red Crescent says it happened in a designated safe zone. But Israel says the strike killed two senior Hamas commanders responsible for attacks in the occupied West Bank, adding, it is aware of reports indicating that as a result of the strike and fire that was ignited, several civilians in the area were harmed. The incident is under review. Sitting is open. The UN's highest court has ordered Israel to halt the Rafah offensive, but has no power to enforce the ruling. And Israel giving no sign it will comply, saying hostages are being held in Rafah. We will not stop fighting for their freedom. On Sunday, Hamas fired rockets towards central Israel for the first time in four months. With sirens blaring in Tel Aviv, the IDF says the rockets came from Rafah. Meanwhile, further up the coast, new questions about the safety of U.S. service personnel. After four small army boats broke their moorings in heavy seas, washing up in Israel and Gaza. The ships were delivering aid through an American-built temporary pier. U.S. Central Command saying no injuries have been reported and the pier remains fully functional. But three U.S. personnel did suffer non-combat injuries last week, the Pentagon says. One seriously wounded. And you can probably hear the wind howling here in southern Israel. That's what caused those ships to actually break off their moorings. If I step to the side here, you can see in the foregrounds, that's one of the ships that washed up on the beach here in Israel. There's two more about 20 miles down the coast in Gaza. And in the background, that larger military vessel is involved in the recovery effort. Now, U.S. Central Command tells us they did manage to get one ship off the beach here in Ashdod earlier, and they're hoping to get this one off sometime soon. Craig. Raf Sanchez for us there in Israel along the coast. Raf, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.